Hi, this is Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. And for our adhesive tutorial today, we are going to go over how to use your 651 as a stencil for a painted and raised canvas. Now, this canvas is a little bit special. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I got at Hobby Lobby. I painted it with the purple red and the light magenta Master's Touch Acrylics from Hobby Lobby. Um, I bought them when they were 50% off. And then I went ahead while the paint was wet and glittered over it with the Raspberry Iris Holographic Glitter because I wanted something super sparkly. As y'all know by now, I am all about the sparkle. So, I went ahead and pre-cut my design on my Oracal 651. I like Oracal 651 for these types of things because it sticks a whole lot better to your canvas. So what I went ahead and did is um, I'm reverse weeding the design. And what I mean whenever I say reverse weeding, on a normal sticker project, whenever you're working with your design, you take and remove the outside of the material and leave the letters on. But whenever you're doing a project like this to turn it into a stencil, you reverse weed it. And again, this is one of my favorite tools. It is available on our website. I absolutely adore this pick. It works so much better. I'm not a big fan of the hook picks. I like the straight up and down. This is more like holding a pencil. Huh, get off me, vinyl. So, got all that. And I went ahead and weeded and masked the bottom part of the design. And whenever I use the term weed or weeded, that is vinyl terminology. All it is is removing the excess vinyl. And whenever I say mask, it is just putting the transfer tape over the top. Um, again, it is nothing difficult to do. This does not take long at all. Um, one of these days we will start doing some tutorials on how to use your software. Um, this one I cut on the Cricut. I used my 24 inch mat, um, but you could easily do this on a silhouette or a brother scan and cut or whatever machine you have to use. My Cricut was the one that was hooked up. I also have a silhouette. I have a GCC. I have several different cutters. So. Went ahead and removed all the excess vinyl, which the adhesives hopefully will be up on the website soon. We are slowly but surely adding products to it. This is my favorite type of transfer tape. This is also available on the website if you're interested. I prefer using the paper tape over the plastic tape. The plastic tape almost always seems like it's way too sticky. So, squeegee. Again, available on the website. Um, but you can easily use the tools that come with your machine as well. I don't want you to feel like I'm pushing you to just go buy everything from me. That's not why we do these tutorials. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is move that out of the way and set it to the side. So, I'm going to lay my canvas right here. And I laid down just a big piece of aluminum because I'm not only going to take and paint on this. I'm also going to take and glitter as well. So that is about center. Actually, I'm doing this backwards at least in my mind. Um, so, because this, especially with a textured surface like this, it's not gonna sit there and stick right away until I squeegee it down. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, so that way I can see where my vinyl is actually going, is I'm going to go ahead and remove the mask off the back of it. Or not the mask, the paper backing. And I almost cut this sucker too deep. I just changed my blade and didn't change my settings whenever I did. So, just so y'all know, I make mistakes too. Now, remember, we also do our monthly scrap box giveaways. Um, the last one that we did the drawing for on 
March the 4th has not been claimed. So if it stays that way, we will redraw for that box of vinyl on Saturday. So they have until Saturday to claim it. So remember, Sheikah, if you want your vinyl, you need to claim it. So what I'm going ahead and doing is laying out both portions of my design so that way I make sure it's all nice and straight before I squeegee it down. So what I'm doing is taking my pick and grabbing the corner of the paper. I find it easier, especially when you have fake nails, than trying to always use your fingers, which when I don't have nails, I don't really find an issue using my hands, but I have had fake nails on for a while now and it'll probably stay that way. So, what I'm doing is just kind of lining this up center with make sure everything's on there. So, one thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take the canvas with the vinyl stuck to it is turn it over on the back side. So, that way I can get my squeegee in there to make sure it makes good contact with the canvas. So, and as you see, I am pressing nice and hard. You wanna make sure it has good adhesion on the front side of the canvas. Okay, that should probably be good. So let's see. I always like to double squeegee. I like to make sure it's good and on there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the transfer tape slowly because this surface is a little bit more difficult than whenever we did the palette sign because this is a textured surface. Whenever you got the glitter going on like this, nothing wants to stick to it. Not well at least but it all makes for easier removal of the stencil when it's time for that. So, but as you can see, I mean, it's not messing up or anything like that. It's just a slower process. And I am sorry that we are posting these tutorials so late in the day, but we have to wait till after store hours to be able to begin filming. See, I pulled up part of my letter. There we go. But again, as I said, it's an easy fix. And as you can see, the, all the excess glitter that wasn't adhered very well coming up with my have here is the master or no this is artist loft this one comes from michael's um metallic paint love the metallic because what we're going to do is we are going to once we put the paint down we are using this disco glitter to coat the letters. So, first things first is I need something to squirt my paint on. We'll use the back of one of these. And as you can see, I actually use this. That's why it's not a full tube. I am not an artist by any means but I'm not bad about laying things out on the computer. So if I can see it done that way, then 
which all that I'm doing is kind of slowly but surely gobbing the paint on here. That's such a southern word. I don't know what types of terminology is really used up north. I've only been a few places above the Mason-Dixon line whenever, like my husband, he was in the Navy whenever he graduated from boot camp. We went to Chicago, which my husband's probably my biggest fan. He's pretty awesome. We've been together now 17 years and we will be married for 15 this year. We got married at 19, so that should tell you something. So, as you can see, it goes pretty easily. It's not anything hard. Just got to make sure you got plenty of paint. So that way you don't lift your stencil too much. Because again, as I said, it would have been easier if I would have mosh podged it, but I didn't. So we'll be okay. Where's my pick? Another trick. You can take this flat end of your pick so say, I don't want that to move. See, I'm just holding it in place with my pick, which I did not do that good of a job, but it's okay. Because, okay, actually didn't do bad. Well, we'll see once it's done. <laughs> One tool, as I said, I cannot stress enough is your pick. Pick one that you love because you will use it for pretty much everything. Okay. about y'all but I make more mistakes when I'm sitting there chit-chatting instead of paying attention let me go ahead and wipe my paint off my finger and we're gonna take because I use that whole bottle of glitter on the bottom part so I'm going to try my best to remove this as neatly as possible. And see, I got my vinyl stuck to each other. I should have done the little part first. Okay. 
Awesome. Now let me throw that away. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our pick and remove the centers of the letters, which there's not many of, thank goodness. Okay. Hey, Kim, go grab me one more paper towel, boo. So, actually, never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking. I can put them over there. It reminds me of snow. dig through it to find the centers. Kind of funny. So that's all my centers. So now what I'm going to do got my excess glitter off and glitter the top at the same time. Go ahead and center of the E, center of the E, and I don't know about y'all, I love all the super girly looking fonts and stuff like that. Those are some of my favorites. That one was down good. There you go. Dust my finger off. Now, this once it's dry, I can take and dust off the extra glitter that's all over the sign. And then I can take, and if I want to, I can take a little bitty paintbrush and kind of go in and straighten up the letters a little bit where it gobbed over but if you use Maj Podge and smooth put it on before you put your vinyl on you don't have to worry about that so um but as you can see it's an absolutely adorable little painting uh it will look super cute in the shop so 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then the little bell icon next to it. That will notify you whenever we have new tutorials online. Um, remember, if you're subscribed to our channel, you're already entered in for the monthly scrap box giveaways. And if you go to our Facebook page and like and share it as well, you will be entered for another chance to win. So thanks and y'all have a great evening.